Then we are joined by Mr. Abhishek Agarwal. Abhishek Agarwal is serving as Chief General Manager and Head of IT in Energy Efficiency Services Limited (EESL). Abhishek is having 26 more than 26 years of uh, experience in the information technology domain in multiple areas like defense, automobile, telecom, oil and gas, logistics, and travel, retail, and energy. Abhishek has a wide expertise in managing large-scale transformation programs. Digital transformation programs in multiple domains. Abhishek has approximately 30 plus awards to his credit in the field of information technology from multiple organizations and publishing houses. To name a few, he has been awarded CIO 100 in 2016 and 19, and multiple awards from Express Computers, CIO Axis, Enterprise IT World, GEC Media, etc. Abhishek holds a B. and ms degree in the area of computer science from bit mestra and bits pilani in the current role as head of it abhishek manages the it department of energy efficiency services uh, limited a very warm welcome to abhishek agarwal ji yeah thank you thank you for inviting me so good afternoon to all the esteemed panelists as well as to the people who are connected through on this uh, through this online platform so it is really my privilege to join this panel discussion with all the eminent speakers and i am thankful to elites for the same although we are uh, i was panelist in the earlier discussion also but really thankful for this where all the esteemed panelists are there and i am really thankful to cmd hlr to set up the foundation for this discussion as i really appreciate how we articulate the digital transformation and to run a successful digital transformation program in the psus we need the same type of leaders who are having the same type of thought which was presented by cmd hl so this was a really eye opener for me how the senior leadership is also thinking for the digital transformation nowadays esl as everybody knows esl is a joint venture of ntpc power finance rural rec and power grid so you say esl is a esco which we call it as esco means energy services company where we are trying to unlock the energy efficiency market which is estimated right now it's a 74000 crores and we are just uh, we have just touched uh, like you can say we have just touched the market we have not also grown too much esl although in 5 years we have in the, under the leadership of our executive vice chairperson we have increased from like 50 crores to 2000 crores but yeah 70000 4000 crore market is also there and we are supporting all the discoms we are supporting sdas and escos and financial we are getting lots of support from all the guys and we have implemented number of uh, projects like street lights we have implemented approximately 1.3 crores street light we have implemented smart meter we have already one esteem panel is also there for the smart meter where intel smart is also there so we are supporting intel smart also and number of other projects are also running now for the with the for the electric vehicle like the other panelists also told so we are also in supporting these companies for enhancing the energy efficiency now comes come uh, coming to this topic digital transformation so digital transformation is going on since long but uh, technically if i give the definition everybody knows digital transformation can be defined as a process of change that companies must go through to adopt the emergence of new technologies so it is not like this like i am using a digital i am using the email or i am using the what you call say i am i have done the some paperless office i am running e office it is not a digital transformation digital transformation is to apply the digital skill to all the companies product assets and the, as well the process so if i talk about some data like idc has done a survey last year so approximately 33 zeta byte of data is in the world and it is going to be projected what idc has presented is that 175 zeta byte of data will be there by 2025 and currently if you talk about the data 90% of the data is being created in the last two years and out of that what 175 zeta byte what idc is projecting projecting 80% of the data will be unstructured by 2025 so how we can imagine how much unstructured data is there and what we need to do with this unstructured data so this unstructured data is coming by because now we are having different technologies iot is coming into the picture number of iot device billions of iot device will be there now going forward so this is all unstructured data videos will be there drones will be there so this all is going to come up and uh, uh, this topic what digital transformation digital transformation is a buzzword nowadays but if we talk about in 90s 90s this was also running like i come from a background where i worked in the defense i worked in the automobile everywhere i worked number of sectors i worked 
basically. But in defense also, I implemented a project which was a digital transformation, which I was implementing in 1998 also. What we talk about the Google, the same thing we have implemented in 1996 to 98. And everybody was appreciating the fact. But this was not in the, uh, like you can say, it was not propagated more in the industry because at that time technology was very, uh, very costly. So now the technology is cheaper, connectivity is faster, and amount of data is growing exponentially. So why it is growing? Because cost of the servers is very less. Computation power is also cheap. Technical advancement is also going to be there. But like CMDHL is also clearly told that cybersecurity, it is going to be a greater havoc now. This is the negative impact. Cyber risk is skyrocketing for us because of the automation and connectivity. So that is also one of the biggest problem what we are going to have in future and uh, how we are going to take care of the cyber security one thing is that ransomware attacks are increasing people are now in the covid number of cyber uh, cyber attacks are increased a lot so what people are doing as a psu we need to take a cloud environment uh, i also appreciate like cmdhl also clearly told okay to maintain the infrastructure the own infrastructure it creates a problem for any psu either we should have a big it team but psus this is my personal perception. PSUs are meant for servicing the country. We are not creating an IT company in the PSUs. Okay, so we need a support from IT companies or the people like we are sitting as an IT person here. We need to get support from the partners. We can't create 100 people, 200 people of IT team. We should have a lean team which will cater the business requirement and to get it developed from the partners or small work can be done by the internal team. So this is a cyber security risk can be done where if we are having a certain data centers, like Mighty has already empanelled 17, 18 data centers. So Mighty has already done that this empanelment based on their auditing requirement and number of other factors they have considered. So I think we should go ahead with these type of data centers where they are uh, having SOC, where they are having firewalls, uh, SOC requirements are already captured in that firewalls and other IPS ideas. Lots of things are coming now in days in the market. So they are kept, they are taking care of the, all the infrastructure. So I think one way to take care of this cyber risk is to put our data, our data in the data centers, which are totally in the control of the other companies who are having the better manpower to manage this security. And now if we talk about the COVID-19, this COVID-19 is totally different. COVID-19, they have forced workers to stay home. So now what is the digital solution we need to put? Now the customers, B2B customers are much more uh, prefer for the remote assistance. So our we, we need to go into the line where we need to change the entire product also. Our entire product has to work into the contactless type of thing. So if you talk about the 2021, like this is my perception, these are the digital transformation top 10, although 21 is going to end, so but I am considering till March 22. So data analytics will be the one, one key factor which will come into the fact, uh, picture. Digital security as everybody has suggested, Contact a solution for digital payment. ZAS. Now we call it ZAS. We are not talking about the SaaS, where service as a uh, component or the platform as a service. We are talking ZAS. ZAS means everything will come as a service for us. And as told by the earlier esteemed panelist, is that knowing the customer better. So customer is a customer. We need to understand the customer better. Business has to redefine, revisit, and reprioritize the current business model based on the customer's expectation. Otherwise, we will not be able to run this business in PSU or not in the PSU, in the private sector also. So everywhere we need to think about the customer perception. And last but not least, the digital opportunities will be there and leaders must first develop the align, align and the business uh, align on a digital vision for the organization. Uh, leaders has to take care of everything. Leader has to run the, uh, uh, leader has to define the platform, as we say. If leaders will not support us, then digital transformation or any of the digital program will be failed in the companies. Thank you.